A snorkeler didn't think he would find hidden treasure under the sea. I glanced across a, a shiny object under a, um, the coral, and I, I looked back and I saw this uh, gold object. So I went down and I, I went to retrieve it. I kind of plucked it out of the reef. John Aliba says the gold cross had an inscription on it. Alexander Morrison, 1932, St. Agnes Choir. He would use that to try and track down the person who might be missing it. I felt like somebody earned it and I wanted to get it to the rightful owner. So he took to a Facebook group called Stolen Stuff Hawaii, where the photo eventually reached this man. And I just thought, oh my God, I, I fell apart. I, I was overwhelmed. I was so emotional, I couldn't even believe it. Morrison told Aliba he lost the cross while he was surfing in Hawaii 52 years ago. He also felt bad for losing it because he took it from his mom's jewelry box. I thought, oh my God, I not only took the cross from my mom, but I just lost it. Morrison says the cross belonged to his father, who sang in a church choir in New York when he was a teen. Now Morrison and Aliba are making plans to finally bring it home. I felt so good that um, after 50 years, um, he, he's, he's getting it back. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Matulbano.